Previously on Touched by an Angel. I'm gonna nail you! There was a car accident. Oh, no. Where are you headed? Just looking for a ride. Hey, big brother! <clears throat> Russell, hug your brother. There's something more to that accident story. <laughs> but you don't know what it's like in here. Those people are dead. They are dead. I'm gonna go get my things. Thinking short stack, extra bacon. You little sneak. Okay, forget the bacon. Looks like you can use coffee, two sugars, right? You're going home. Thought I was home. It's a beautiful day today. It's a perfect camping day. If you just open your eyes for me, I'd take you anywhere in the world you wanted to go, baby. To the mountains, fishing. I need you with me, Matthew. I can't go on without you, honey. Please talk to me. Mommy? Mommy? <laughs> Sweetheart? Oh, don't squeeze so hard. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my head hurts. Oh, I know, sweetie, you bumped it really hard. So hard you were asleep for a long time. Where's Daddy and Ryan? Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Rubbing to finish off that table's not gonna do any good. Beats pacing up and down the room. A lot more productive. Why can't we do something? Why can't we go search for him? Where would you start? 
How about the state line? What state line? Tennessee, Virginia? Or did they go north to Ohio? The kids are right. We got to do something. I agree. We've given him enough time. What are you going to do? I'm going to call the police. And what are you going to say, Russell? That you want your nephew back? That your brother took his son? This is a family dispute. They don't want to get involved. They will when I tell them about the accident. Russell, they'll put him in jail. Maybe that's where he belongs. Don't say that. He's your brother. He knows what he did. He said so. Mama knowing it and taking responsibility for it are not the same thing. Now you burn that into my head. Patty, maybe this is the only way to save Joe. Save him from himself, from his demons. It's time he took a long, hard look at himself. If he doesn't do it now, he may never. All right, then call. And after that, take me to the hospital. Hospital? What for? I've got to speak to Sandra Mills. Mama, that is not necessary. She has to know, and not from the police. From me. Mother to mother. That woman already has enough grief to last her two lifetimes. I'll walk if I have to. Creek. I got a surprise for you. You like surprises? Sure. Mom likes surprises too. <laughs> Your mama was full of surprises. Is that why you left her? Well, she had her troubles and I had mine. It wasn't a good mix. What about me and you? We a good mix? We'll find out soon enough. Russell? Hattie? <laughs> Did you see Matthew? Did you talk to him? No, ma'am, we didn't. Uh, but we're real glad to hear that your boy's doing fine. Oh, thank you. The doctor has so much hope. Of course, he'll need a lot of physical therapy, but... Well, he'll have his mother there to help him. Yes, he will. <laughs> Come on, let's go upstairs. I know Matthew's gonna want to meet both of you. Is Joe here? Because I've told Matthew everything about Joe. No, no, ma'am. Oh, he wants to make him something, you know, a medal to show off what a hero he is. Joe's no hero. Oh, of course he is. Matthew wouldn't even be alive unless he'd pulled him out of that car crash. Without Joe, your husband and your other son would be alive. I don't what? Joe caused the accident. He forced your husband off the road. As far as I know, that is not the definition of a hero. Not now, not ever. But there is one truth. My son pulled your son out of that car. And he came back when he could have kept going. Wait, wait. You're saying this didn't have to happen? That they didn't have to die? No, ma'am. It did not have to happen. Your son killed my family? Why are you here? Because you deserve the truth. And I wanted you to hear it from me. There is no way that I can tell you how sorry I am. Oh, you just get away from me. I don't care how sorry you are. Sorry when we met my husband and my son. <laughs> Last thing we wanted to do is cause you any more pain. I'm going to call the police and I'm going to tell them everything. It's already been done. I called them myself. find out. Come on. You're not feeling strong. Hold on, baby. Hold on when you cry. I will dry your eyes when you fall. I lift you Whoa. up high. Just 
pretty. Her name's Karen. Sure do. When you cry. Thank you. Thank you very much. You've been great. Be back in a minute. Thanks. Song? I'm curious, what part of not coming here don't you understand? I like it. it. Shows off your voice. Thanks for noticing. Who's this? This? This is Nathaniel. He's my son. So I guess now I can add him to a long list of things that you never bothered to mention. Where's his mother? She's dead. What are you doing here? Yeah, I've just been missing you a lot. What do you want? <laughs> well, I was uh, I was hoping maybe you could put us up. The usual, free room and board. What are you running from this time? No, no, it's not like that. I just you're all I've been thinking about. Oh, come on, you're not gonna make the kids sleep out in the car, are you? <laughs> Well, if it weren't for him, I'd have you thrown out. You can sleep on the sofa in the living room. Just meet me after the show. Thanks. Or your girlfriend, she didn't seem too happy to see you. She's not my girlfriend. She's my wife. Bad enough you got mad and walked out. Are you dead? Are you alive? And you turn up and you expect me to care about your hard times. I came back, didn't I? I love you, Karen. You don't know what that word means, Joe. You came back because you need something. Do you believe in angels? <laughs> do I believe in angels? Now don't laugh, because uh, I do. They're out there watching over us. I know it. Everything that's happened in the last few days makes so much sense now. I think God wants us to be together. You and me and Nathaniel. I can see it. I think you've lost your mind. Finally. No, no, really. I'm saying this from my heart. We could settle down somewhere. Nashville. We could write songs together. You could sing them. We could make this happen. Joe, you know, you're really a sweet guy. You're, you're a wonderful man. But you just need to grow up. But I've changed. I, I'm different. I swear it. I'm sorry. It's no sale. Can I have a glass of water? Oh, I didn't mean to wake you. Sorry. That's okay. I'm having a bad dream anyway. I was in a tunnel. And it was dark, and, and I couldn't get out. Come on. Mm. Give it another chance. It'll work out. I know it. Let's go. Let's go, Nathaniel. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Right? I'm sorry about your mama. Yeah, but you're even sorrier about my dad. Why would you say that? My mom turned her life around. She was happy when she died. She's in heaven now. My dad is pretty much in hell. Well, you know, if I didn't have to take your daddy as part of this bargain, I'd take you in a heartbeat. He's not such a bad guy. He's just real confused. Yeah. I'm not ready for a stepmom. But you're a real good singer. <laughs> Is that a hint? Take it any way you like. Mm -hmm. 
This old house creaks so much. I keep thinking one of them might be Nathaniel sneaking back in. Joe and I shared a room, kind of like this when we were kids. Played with each other's toys, had chicken pox at the same time. We even ran away together once. Got all the way to the river before we changed our minds. We were so close back then. Now we're so far apart. How did it end up like this? I'll tell you, I'm tired of blaming the war for what happened to Joe. He's got to start taking responsibility for that accident. For the way he's hurt Mama. For his own life. For Nathaniel? Especially for Nathaniel. Well, it isn't flat anyway. It will be. Why do these things happen to me? We can fix it. It's been fixed too many times. We're going to need a new one. Well, how are we going to manage that? Well, we'll think of something. Come on. In the bag, I see. He tells him to get in the vault. But instead, he dives under the desk and pushes the desk over at him. And then, pow, the gun goes off. And he shoots a hat off a statue of John Wayne. Man, it was a great movie. Maybe we can get it on video sometime. Dad? Huh? Can we? Yeah, sure. Hey, Nathaniel, uh, you remember that game we used to play? When you'd uh, talk to somebody, make friends with them, and... And you'd borrow something we needed when they weren't looking? Yeah, right. Um, why don't you go on over and talk to that guy over there? And while you're doing that, I'll uh, borrow us a tire. And then as soon as I got some money, I'll borrow it back to him. Is that really borrowing? Or is it kind of stealing? I'm not a thief, get it straight. You wouldn't believe how these guys rip you off. Half of those tires are probably hot anyway. Come on, if we don't pull this off, we're sunk. You gonna help me or what? Yeah, sure. Of course. Cool. Come on. Buddy, pour it on. Hi. Hi. Something I can do for you? No. Well, sort of. Have you ever seen the movie? Where the guy shoots the hat off the John Wayne statue? Kid, I'm busy. Well, actually, I'm here to talk to you about my dad. He's got a whole bunch of problems. And sometimes, I don't think he even knows the difference between right and wrong. I'm not a cop or a welfare worker, but if he's hitting you... No, nothing like that. It's just, he wants me to distract you. I used to do it all the time, but I can't. Because it's not right. So, I'm just going to ask you straight out. We need a tire, but we can't pay you for it for a while. Hey! 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 It's all right. Hey, take it easy. Take it easy, huh? Take it easy. Get off of me. Come on, man. I'll call the police. Let go of me. Let go of me, man. Get off of me! Just a minute, Nathaniel.
for that. It looks okay to me. Oh, better than okay. No. I'll go check on Joe. It's my fault he's here. I mean, I didn't listen to him when the cops came. Nathaniel, what you did was right. If you hadn't done it, you'd still be out there and we wouldn't know where to find you. See, the important thing is we're all together again. Together? My dad's in jail. Too bad I'm not in the air freshener business. I can make a lot of bucks in here. Anything you need? Anything I can get you? Yeah. Get me out of here. Joe, they've got you in for vehicular manslaughter. I can't afford that bail. But you could afford the phone call to the police. I'll get you a lawyer. Thanks. Somebody see you sometime tomorrow. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I know you got a lot of things to do. Joe, I don't like seeing you in here. Believe that. Russell, in here is exactly where you think I ought to be. Sometime in the afternoon. And you've got to do it. Mama, I can't do it. That old Airstream is our home. And don't give me the evil eye. I'm not going to put my family at risk. He's your brother. Joe's not a kid anymore, Mama. And he's run off before more than once. I'm sorry. I just can't take that chance. Where's my dad? Well, he's going to have to stay here for a little while, pal. So we're going to we're going to go on home and wait there. No, I want to wait here. Nathaniel. I'm not leaving. You said Uncle Russell would take care of everything. It's best we go now. All of us. Don't set a place for Grandma. She's sitting in her room. I wonder how long she's going to be keeping this up. Till Daddy gets nice again? There's probably a lot of stuff we don't know about. What Uncle Joe did wasn't Daddy's fault. Uncle Joe didn't do anything on purpose. I guess that's something he's still going to have to prove. To who? The judge or daddy? <sighs> Look, why don't we just drop it, okay? I mean, I'm just sick of the whole thing. We'd be a lot better off if we'd never come here. When we're older, what's it going to be like for us? It depends. On what? If you ever outgrow your really irritating habits. <sighs> no, Josh, I'm serious. It scares me to think if I did something you didn't like, you'd turn your back on me. Uh, this is getting way too deep for me. Will you be there for me, no matter what? I never let anything bad happen to you. <laughs> Don't you go getting all weepy on me now. Mighty tasty, Josh. Uh, I used uh, Rasmus's secret sauce. Mm. A little sweet mustard, pickle relish, molasses. What else? It's secret sauce, Daddy. Rasmus made me swear an oath. Mm. Change your mind about dinner? No, just thirsty. Well, we got plenty if you do change your mind. Oh, thank you. Anybody hear anything from Erasmus? No. He tore out of here around three, said he had errands. I like Erasmus to miss a meal. I think I get another napkin. 
<laughs> you don't need a napkin. You need a bath. Well, we hope you left enough scraps for us. You're home! <laughs> yes, I am, and I'm glad to be here. Joe. Thank you. I prayed for this. Hey, brother. Well, you hungry? Of course you are. I'll fix you some plates. Don't tell me about your pull with the police. Our ass must color green's the only thing that works for bail. Yep, and my green is as good as the next man's. You had that much cash? We're sitting on it. I trust him. Well, I guess that proves you're a better man than I am. I wouldn't take that chance. Russell, I didn't do this to show you up, but I didn't go into it lightly. I did what I always do whenever there's a problem and no answer. I went into my room, closed the door, turned off the light, and asked the Almighty for guidance. You asked God whether you ought to bail Joe out? Yes, I did. Well, then you heard wrong, Erasmus. God may have said you ought to love him, but you must have heard wrong when it came to bailing him out. You don't know what God said to Erasmus. And neither do I. I know that. I'm sorry. No need to be sorry. Russell, you've got a whole lifetime of emotions tied up in your brother. Some of it's good, some of it's bad. Well, son, time is running out for him. He needs to be trusted, and he needs to be trusted by you more than anyone. Thanks. Anybody seen Joe's lawyers here? Upstairs in his room. No, Mama, he is not in his room. He's not in the bathroom, he's not in the yard, and he's not in the trailer. Russell, I know what you're thinking. He wouldn't do that. Well, I'm not waiting around to find out. Don't you love it? <laughs> the breeze is just right. The smell of gardenias. Nothing like it. <sighs> we can't find Joe. Is Nathaniel here? He's upstairs with Dinah. Then Joe's here. Russell, smell the gardenias. <laughs> Gonna be a wonderful day. <laughs> I'll be back. Morning, everybody. Joe! Sure. After what Erasmus did, I figured the least I could do would be to buy milk for the cornflakes. Going someplace? Uh, no. Your lawyer's in front of him. He's waiting for us. Just be straight with me. What's a DA gonna do? Throw the book at me? He wanted to. Wanted to? Does that mean he's had a change of heart? Well, the tow truck company was supposed to take the car to a secure impound lot, but apparently they made a mistake. Instead, they took it to a repair shop. Some paint jockey started to prep it for repairs. What are you telling us? The only hard evidence that the DA had was the paint chips from Randy Mills' car on Joe's fender. Now the only evidence he's got is two coats of fresh paint. But Joe confessed. I know, but only to you. And that's called hearsay. Believe me, the judge would throw it out. So I think we're looking at a dismissal. Don't everybody cheer at once. But we all know. I know that you know the truth. But Mrs. Green, my job is to advocate for my client. And guilty or innocent, I sincerely believe that in this case, jail time is inappropriate. Your son needs treatment, not punishment. Nothing would make me happier than to see my son stay out of jail. I'm sorry if that offends anyone's ethical sensibilities, but that's the way I feel. Uh, well, what do I, what's the next step? When we go to court tomorrow and the judge asks you how you plead, you just say not guilty. I'll do the rest. By the end of the day, you should be a free man. Congratulations. 
Well, I've got to get back to the office. If anybody has any questions, call me. Thank you. I'm supposed to be doing my algebra. Well, I guess I can't complain too much, as long as you got a book in your hand. Wish I'd read more when I was your age. It's really good. It's depressing, though. It's about this girl, and she takes a lot of drugs. Messes up her life. Out of all the books in the library, how come you picked that one? I don't know. I guess... I'm trying to understand Uncle Joe. But I don't think I ever will. Hmm. Well, I think I'm a charter member of that club. I sure do wish there was more I could do to help him. I heard about what the lawyer said. If he pleads innocent tomorrow and gets off, well, that means he gets away with murder, doesn't it? Well, I guess his lawyer will think so. And I'm sure the family of the people who got killed will think so, but I'm not so sure about Joe. See, deep down inside, I think this is just tearing him apart. No matter which way this turns out, he loses. Daddy, I'm so sorry. I know, baby. Me too. Me too. I guess I'll go do my algebra. Problems are tough, but at least they have answers. She's right. Life would be much easier if it worked like mathematics. If all you had to do was solve for X. Hey, Tess. Boy, am I glad to see you. Been a rough week, huh? The worst. Have you ever been hugged by an angel? Just once. Last year by you. Did you like it? Would you like to have another one? Ah. Uh. Have I told you how much God loves you? Yes, you have, but I never get tired of hearing it. <sighs> Tess, I just don't know what to do. I've never been so confused in my life. I know the feeling. Well, there's only one being in the universe that has all the right answers. And he's the one that sent me to you this morning. He wants me to remind you of the last basketball game you played for your high school team. Do you remember it? Like it was yesterday. About half the team down with the flu. Joe was just a sophomore, but they called him up from the JV. It's the only time you took the court together, huh? <laughs> yeah. And we played a heck of a game, too. Everybody figured Monroe had beat us by 20 points, but we kept it close the whole game. Do you remember the last play? The one the coach designed for you? Oh, yeah. We were down by one, four seconds left. I was supposed to get the ball at the top of the key and find Joe coming off a pick. But I thought I had an open lane. I tried to take the ball to the hoop myself. I got cut off. Joe was wide open. But I was still holding the ball when the buzzer went off. Trust him, Russell. Get the ball to him.
I can handle a few weeds, Russell. Remember all those weekends we lost helping Daddy with the farm? The weekends? Years. I'm sure glad he's not here now to see the way things turned out. Well, I'll tell you the truth, so am I. But he'd have backed you up. He always did. Not if you'd seen what I did to my boy. <laughs> Shoot, Joe, that might be the only thing you've done right. Sure, I'm glad that little boy's part of the family. Russell, I abandoned him. Well, I never figured it that way. You left him with Erasmus, knowing that we were on our way to Chickory Creek and that we'd take care of him. And that, for whatever reason, you couldn't. I also knew you were out of a job. And you couldn't afford another mouth to feed. I did what was best for me, as usual. You trusted me with your son. Russell, what am I going to do in that courtroom tomorrow? I'm not going to jail. That's your call. I thought you were the one with all the answers. I don't even have all the questions. You just do what you think's right. I'll back you up. No matter what. You remember that last basketball game we had in high school against Monroe? What about it? I should have gotten the ball to you, Joe. Take your shot. Commonwealth of Kentucky versus Joseph H. Green, Your Honor. Mr. Green has been charged with two counts of felony vehicular manslaughter and one count reckless driving. Mr. Green, would you stand, please? You heard the charges? Yes, ma'am. Would you like to enter a plea? Yes. Your plea, Mr. Green. Guilty. Your Honor, my, I don't believe my client intended to say that. Yes, I did. I'm guilty. Did you do this? No, Mama, I'm sitting back here with you. Your Honor, if it pleases the court, I have affidavits here, several, from various institutions, uh, halfway houses, VA hospitals. Mr. Green has been under treatment for mental and emotional disorders for two decades. I really don't believe he's of sound mind. I am of sound mind. Counsel, approach the bench, please, and bring those affidavits with you. Uh, what, what are they doing? What are they, what are they... Mr. Green, sit down. I'm the one on trial here. I killed two people. There's two people dead because of what I did. It's not because of what's in those papers. Mr. Green, sit down. And now because some truck driver makes a mistake, they tell me all I have to do is plead not guilty and then I'll get off scot-free, but it's not gonna... Your Honor, maybe you ought to have him restrained. Counselor, I thought that's what you were trying to avoid. Mr. Green, there are minimum sentencing guidelines in this state, and I want you to understand that if you plead guilty, you will go to jail. Yes, I understand. But I... But I, I don't know any other way to, to tell Ms. Mills and her son how sorry I am about what I did, and I don't know any other way to tell my own son how sorry I am about what I did. All I know is that if I were standing here lying to you, that's not the way to go about it, and that's what I would be doing if I pleaded not guilty. All right, Mr. Green. Thank you. I'll let your plea stand. Punishment isn't always in the best interest of society or this court, but there are times when confinement is. Therefore, Mr. Green, I am sentencing you to four years in a minimum security correctional facility where you will get job training and counseling, and I'm ordering you to appear in this court in six months, at which time we will evaluate your progress, and if I'm pleased with what I see, 
I'll reduce your sentence to 18 months. Mr. Green, you have a chance to make something of your life. I trust that you will. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you have my word. This court is adjourned. All rise. I wish his going to jail made me feel better, but it doesn't. No, how you feel? I'm sorry. Joe. I don't know if I could have done it. I'll take care of Would you like a moment alone with your daddy? Sure. Wait for you outside. I'm proud of you, Dad. I love you, man. Love you, too.